Good morning, everyone. This is Phil and Megan from Perfect Finish Ortho Lab. We're here this morning to demonstrate how to adjust a modified spring aligner. There are basically two adjustments that you will need to do on follow up visits. The first adjustment is to bring the canine loops back down tightly up against the facial surface of the canine. Megan's going to demonstrate the right canine loop at this point. You can see where it is away from the tooth. The technique we're going to show you is with your fingers. Simply support it in your left hand and with your right hand, your thumb and index finger, squeeze the loops together. Put it back in the patient's mouth. The loop should be contoured closely and tightly up against the canine. If you need to do follow-up bends, go ahead and do some more. You do not want to do this with a plier. Megan's going to demonstrate where you could do it with a three-prong plier on the top, but I do not want you to do that. Do not do this bend. You're going to nick it. Use your fingers. Okay, secondly, if the acrylic is away from the teeth, still, even after you've brought the canines in, the bend that we're going to show you is using your three-prong pliers to tighten up the loops. Keep the pliers at a level angle and make a small incremental bend. Let the plier do the work, right and then left, both sides, to bring that labial acrylic in. You want to do the bends incrementally, both left and right, because the labial acrylic is specifically contoured to each tooth, and if you do all the uh, bend on one loop, it's going to skew the acrylic off to one side. You can see this is nice and tight up against the labial surface. No bouncing, the canine loops are tight up against the canines. 